Hello guys, this is Vaish. So the Hindu editorial for 12th December and uh, few important articles are there like uh, the uh, President of Russia, Putin has uh, travelled outside uh, after uh, like long time you can tell because when the war started he was uh, uh, having even an arrest warrant that uh, if he comes out of the country he will be arrested but still he went to two countries at a time and uh, he invited more uh, leaders to his country also. So it is a, a very uh, like uh, remarkable thing which happened yesterday so we will uh, discuss that. And then Orissa, the state where uh, the agriculture, food, nutrition, everything was a problem. They have now even got the United Nations Award and even the Indian State Awards and all for uh, improvement in agriculture. So that is also important. And as you see in the uh, thumbnail itself, the illegal border crossing into USA, Indians crossing to USA, that has uh, uh, been the highest now this year, 2023. So that related statistics and charts have come. So that also we will discuss. So in the newspaper, if you see what all has come, the first article here, Article 370, we have already discussed in detail on August 1st episode and September 2nd episode. It is all in the same playlist only. You can go and watch to learn about Article 370, Article 35A and the complete Jammu and Kashmir history. You can learn from here. And today, just a verdict has come that uh, whatever the central government has done uh, two, three years back uh, is correct. Okay, they have upheld uh, the thing. And the uh, only thing is they have told uh, the Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh, which we have two union territories now, that uh, Jammu and Kashmir should be restored uh, statehood and their uh, proper state election should happen by uh, 2024. Okay, 2024 September election has to happen. That is the only uh, extra thing which the court has told. So that uh, there is nothing to discuss too much. If you have seen my previous episodes, you will already know everything. Here are uh, some philosophical articles there. It did not make much sense. Uh, they have told something related to politics also, philosophy also. Overall, it not, did not make any uh, sense to me. It is not of use. Okay, And this is the Putin's article we will discuss. Here it is Punjab local news. Here is the uh, thing which I told. The migrants, Indian illegal migrants. A lot of charts are there. We will discuss first itself. And then <coughs> the food security. The food security in Orissa. The Orissa model has to be modeled across India. That is what the author is telling. So, we will discuss what is the model and what they have done and what are the important stats. Okay. So, the goodies again, if you are a person who have enrolled to our test series pack 4 or pack 5, no matter which year it is 2022, 23, 24, 25, any student who has enrolled to our full test series prelims plus mains, they are the first ones who will be uh, getting uh, our goodies. Okay maybe one of them or uh, two of them or maybe all three of them it will come in different different batches so the first batch is for as i told pack four or pack five the others also will get it who is pack one pack two and all you will get it but that will be in the next phase okay face by face only we will be able to do it uh, because there are uh, thousands of students okay so we have to uh, because it's completely free also so we have to uh, slowly slowly the production has to be increased and then we have to give uh, to set of students so the uh, first set is for pack four pack five of any year of hias uh, full-time uh, student whose complete enrollment is done okay meaning not like you have just joined yesterday or something the people whose enrollment is completely done your fee payment and you are fully a vice student you have started doing our test series such people will first get it okay so please whatsapp us and claim it you just have to send me like uh, goodies or uh, claiming the goodies or something you just message me i will uh, tell you uh, like uh, how what to do okay what is the procedure so contact us there now going to the first one the illegal uh, migrants if you see this is united states Okay, most of the people when we tell North America, they just think it is like uh, Canada, USA and Mexico. It is not like that. After Mexico, here a lot of countries are there. Okay, even the West Indies Islands are there and also before the Panama, uh, you can see here, this is the Isthmus of Panama. The Isthmus means a land connecting two major land bodies. So, it is connecting North America to South America. Here you have uh, Nicaragua, we have Honduras, we have this Belize Reef, which is very famous, Guatemala, uh, Costa Rica. Okay, like this many countries are there. So, this you should know, a rough idea you should know. Cuba is here. Okay, a big communist country, West Indies, the cricket team, you know, Haiti. Uh, so, all these things are there and Alaska is uh, a part of USA only. That is why it is the same color. Okay, USA's flag you would have seen. USA's flag is having like uh, some stars on that. It is totally uh, uh, 50 stars are there. Okay, 50 stars are there. That is actually the 50 states of USA. In USA states, you will know it is almost like same shape. They have divided like this. Okay, not like India, like uh, very uh, like in different, different shapes. Here it is almost uniformly they have divided. So, 49 states plus Alaska, the 50th uh, state it will be. Okay, this is just basic geography. So, here uh, through this Canada border, uh, some people enter USA illegally and through Mexico, uh, maximum people enter. That is why uh, Trump, when he became president, he told he will make a big wall here, Okay, a big permanent wall he will do and that money to build the wall also, he will make Mexico pay it. Like that, all he told big, big things and that is how we, he won the election. Now, again, next elections are going to come in 2024 and the issue has again come up because the number of people entering through this route has again uh, becoming lakhs, Okay, which was in thousands, now it is becoming in lakhs and that is why it is again a big issue in their uh, 
uh, US electoral poll and uh, the uh, new thing is that Indians are the ones who are like uh, then the count is increasing okay Indians are like total wise if you take Mexico is the highest 7.4 lakh people are entering every year Indians are only uh, 0 0.97 lakh that's 97,000 people are uh, entering and uh, rank wise also India is uh, not the highest and all but still the number okay which India like I think last year or not it was maybe 10,000 people are entering now it is 97,000 people entering that is a big uh, rise okay meanwhile in Mexico the count is going down okay if it was uh, some suppose 10 lakh people entering now 7.4 lakh people are entering so Mexico's count is going down and India's count is going up that is why today's article uh, becomes uh, significant okay and even Russia, China, every type of people are trying to illegally enter to USA because, you know, USA's lifestyle, USA, the big dream of life, the big, big cities, that is how they sell uh, or brand America. Okay. So, everybody feels like we have to go and settle there. So, there are people, you know, the movie is also coming, uh, the Dunkey movie, which is coming uh, next week, it is releasing. You should go and watch it and you will get more details about how Indians go uh, through this and all. Okay. Even now in many regional languages and all, already such movies have come. So, people even walk and go. People, th this area is also very, uh, very uh, dangerous area. Okay. The mafia is there many people are there who will loot these people and all still risking everything okay and even spending money they give a bribe to the uh, check post and here and all they give bribes in lakhs and crores and all they give it's a family of suppose five people family you have to pay close to one crore or two crore and all you have to give uh, the bribes and things and all to different different places to go through this illegal route in Mexico and USA and that's how these people enter so most of them single Indians or family with Indians uh, minor uh, children are there with them like that many many groups are entering uh, USA and that complete stats have come in today's paper if you see this count of uh, illegal Indians in 2008 it was like 173 like this is increasing now it's 97,000 people are entering in 2003 alone okay and same like that through which area is it through the southwest border that is mexico border or through the northern border that is the canada border so that also if you see it's mostly the mexico border only but now recently you have noticed that uh, by 2022 23 and all the canada area also many people are trying to leave canada and go to uh, usa okay i'm talking about indians indians going to uh, the usa okay illegally and here the type of people as i told accompanied minors individuals family unit single adult unaccompanied children which are minors anyhow if you see every number is going up only okay all the count is going up the total as i told close to 97000 is the grand total and everything if it's children or if it's adult the every count is going up so if you please ask anything or in mains if you want to write you should remember these uh, data and fact uh, about uh, this illegal migration okay high chances there a mains question can come because that movie is also coming this uh, topic is in news so illegal immigrants crossing borders not only to usa to uk to europe to anywhere uh, can be asked as a mains uh, 10 marker question okay so now in the paper today uh, why this came because in Rajya Sabha this issue was raised that uh, illegally Indians are entering the USA and then uh, the MP okay that time uh, the Ministry of External Affairs uh, uh, was asked a question that uh, the data as per US Custom Border Protection tells that close to 1 lakh people are entering this year the trends of thousands has now become in lakhs okay in the last uh, four years it has become more uh, a decade ago it was only 1500 everything what I showed you chart the same thing only in words they have written so because in Rajya Sabha this issue came that is why we are uh, discussing Discussing this and as I told US president election is going to happen and this is one of the top issues which they uh, tell the president candidate tell to get the votes from the voters because voters also like it when we tell like uh, like Trump will tell like I will throw out all the illegal immigrants uh, in America is only for Americans so when you do that nationalistic policies and uh, right winger thing and all they will like it and they will vote and maybe Trump will win the election also and he is also blaming uh, Joe Biden for reversing the policies because Trump had done many policies uh, everything Joe Biden came and reversed so that is the reason uh, the uh, elections is important and this uh, issue is very important in the uh, USA okay as I told, Southwest US Mexico border is the maximum, but in Canada border, even though it is just 6%, it is rising in the coming years, it is rising. Okay, the other one is 77%, the Mexico border. So, like this, the illegal Indian immigrants are increasing. Undocumented Indians are increasing from less than 100 in 2014 to 30,000 in 2023. So, these are only the people who are caught or people who are being noted by the US police. There will be many people who already are crossing. Okay, that count we don't have, that stats we don't have. So, uh, Indians are trying to go, uh, many from Mexico are trying to go and as I told Mexico is like a dropping in the recent years but Indians is increasing in the recent years but overall Indians are only 3 percentage because you saw in that ranking also uh, before India there is Venezuela, Mexico, there are many countries okay after that only Indians uh, name comes. So, these are again basic details. The minors again, minors are getting separated from their families or adult because uh, police will catch half of them, police will not catch half of them. So, such thing is also there. So, Trump era policy actually led to separation of lot of thing. But uh, Trump is justifying that only. Trump is telling that because I did that only.
globally the number of illegally uh, coming people had reduced during his time but now again uh, joe biden reversed it and that is why more and more people are uh, entering okay so this same thing unaccompanied accompanied everything i told you everything is rising okay and recently their uh, court judge had prohibited separation of minors from family okay even if separately arrested and all you should uh, unite them with their family or parents that is what the uh, judge has told in one of the recent judgments this is the overall article the very uh, first article here in this uh, newspaper if you see this one we discussed okay full charts i showed you now we will see the uh, next one one is the food security one and other one is the uh, putin one okay so putin's article if you take you can see here saudi and uh, uae the two powerful uh, west asian or middle east asian uh, you can uh, tell uh, countries uh, which is very important for oil production and all putin went and visited both of them that when he went the his plane was surrounded or um, you can tell like a bodyguard kind of thing uh, sukhoi uh, 35 the powerful military everything was there because he is after many months he is uh, stepping out of uh, uh, russia okay you know the ukraine war was there and even uh, arrest warrant was there by the international criminal court uh, uh, for uh, against putin that when he steps out he will be arrested still he suddenly like a like dramatical set out if you see he suddenly went to abu dhabi and riyadh and also the next day after reaching back in moscow he invited the iranian president there and received him also so at a time visiting the three big uh, uh, oil countries you can tell or the middle east countries you can tell is a very big remarkable thing okay like only he can do that when in this kind of circumstances going to abu dhabi means capital of uae and riyadh is the capital of uh, saudi arabia okay so december 8 uh, putin after that going back what he did he announced that elections are there in um, uh, russia also elections are there in 2024 and that time he will be standing for election he will be winning the election and till 2030 or even beyond meaning for the next one decade he is himself is going to be the uh, president so maybe he went to these countries and assured them that i am going to be the president everything which we are going to sign the deals and everything is going to stay stable for the next 10 years so stand with us okay maybe that is what was his agenda that he went there and immediately next day he announced this public about the uh, elections okay so complete goodwill was there he was uh, welcomed very nicely and uh, the sheikh okay the sheikh of uae uh, spoke importance of strengthening dialogue and cooperation and even putin told nothing can prevent the development of our friendly relations okay so he is that much confident and also you should know something called the opec plus which in detail we have done you can search why shai is opec plus and you will get the videos in that we have told you where uh, russia is there usa is there saudi is there these are all oil cartels you can tell okay oil cartel or groups who decides like how much oil to uh, produce how much oil to or what is the price per barrel all these things this uh, cartels decide already opec is there who is the oil producing countries opec plus they made and now it is more of a like producers interest meaning they decide when to sell how much oil and how much uh, gas and all these things so that is a very uh, like you can tell a cartel group which decides everything so opec plus in which russia is there and these countries are there they have this uh, oil policy exchange policy and all so they decide lot of things which happen in this uh, country in this world now okay so that unity is now again uh, kept up you can tell because they are meeting they are welcoming each other so despite you know usa is the long standing ally of saudi and uae and all still these people are now becoming more independent they are doing their own policies they are trying to make their own friends as per their choice and they are getting more and more clo- closer to russia and china okay they did not uh, like if you if you see the war time uh, uh, usa is fully standing with israel okay usa is fully standing with israel but uh, these two are not doing that these two are not standing fully with israel they are supporting palestine so that is the reason uh, russia and china also is in the same side so all this aligns okay their ideology aligns when this war started and that is the reason and usa may be slowly slowly uh, isolated or usa may start losing friends in the coming days okay so neither the usa nor the saudi arabia has supported the us sponsored sanctions on russia or they did not criticize russia also for the ukraine war okay like india also did not criticize russia for the war so like that many things are there and also russians many russians are going and buying homes and properties in uh, saudi and uh, uae settling their investments in business they are doing in the technology and energy sector they are investing so overall they have huge trade relationship and everything so west how much ever they had uh, older good relations that is all slowly slowly uh, going down or fading away okay so now even russia is supporting saudi arabia's civil nuclear program which they have and uh, in every way you can see iran the third country which i am speaking iran and russia 
they also have lot of uh, problem because Iran also got sanctions from USA, Russia also got sanctions from USA, Western sanctions. So, both are challenging the West's global strategic leadership and telling we should have a more multipolar world order. It is not like USA will control everything, it is not like dollar will control everything. They are looking for alternatives. Okay, So, there are bilateral relationships in energy, in military areas, in the joint exercises they do in Gulf of Oman, everywhere they are doing things. Even Iran is going to purchase this uh, Sukhoi 35 aircraft from Russia, which even Indians have got it attack helicopters they are going to get it so overall these three countries usa sorry uae saudi and iran are going to become more and more uh, deep uh, uh, friends with this uh, this russia and uh, in every way even in military uh, it's like mutual okay in the ukraine war also iran is giving them drones iran is giving them ammunition giving them body armor everything iran is also giving so they both are having extremely intensive discussions on gaza war on ukraine war and also the oil prices so immediately whatever happens whatever humanity crisis anything happens it doesn't matter these people are going to uh, 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 unite okay but again as i told mystery still surrounds the kremlin is actually the rashtrapati bhavan kind of thing of uh, putin okay where he lives so from there he came out and he hastily very urgently he went to these two things people are all wondering like how come he took such a rare overseas trip which he usually don't take because he is very concerned about his security and other things and all still he did why he did because it is a message itself the trip itself is a message he wanted to signal that russia is not isolated we have close friends like uae saudi arabia iran and they are not no longer USA's close allies, it is Russia's close allies. This message he wanted to give to the world and especially to USA and that is why he did. So, that conclusion, he, uh, the uh, uh, trip, uh, okay, for agenda, what is the agenda? First one is Russia's close ties with Iran, uh, UAE and the kingdom and uh, going and telling that Gaza war uh, will not spread, okay, because Gaza, suppose uh, Israel-Palestine is fighting and Iran hates Israel, okay, Iran hates Israel. But Russia, Iran has close friends. So, Iran would have assured Russia that this war will not spread across the region because Iran controls everything. If you know there is something called Hezbollah in Lebanon, there is uh, Houthis in Yemen. This all actually Iran only controls. So, Iran if it decides the war can spread, it can become more like regional instability. But Iran would have promised Russia that okay, we will not do anything. We will uh, see to it that that war is between Israel and Palestine only. And this one Russia will go and tell UAE and Saudi. So, this assurance when they, get, when they get, they both are also happy. Okay, because the Middle East will be stable, it will not be full war zone. So, that complete thing, Russia is playing that middleman between these three countries and then they are stabilizing it. So, that is the first agenda. Second agenda, Putin has uh, 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 wanting uh, this thing, a uh, Gulf Cooperation Council, if you know, GCC, that was asked in 2016 prelims, uh, of which Iran is not a part. Okay, Iran is not a part. So, Putin want to have a deeper relationship with both the GCC countries, which has this Qatar, Oman, uh, Bahrain, Kuwait, Saudi and all, uh, along with uh, Iran also, they want to do it and they want Russia and China as the guarantor of regional peace, meaning any problems are there, these two should come and solve rather than USA. Already China is coming and solving lot of problems between uh, Iran and Saudi or many, many such countries. So, Russia wants to establish that again that Russia, China is the best ones who can play a diplomatic role and solve all your problems and bring around regional stability and it is not the USA, okay, it is not the USA. Third point is the support of the Gulf interlocutors to the consolidation of this regional alignment, meaning post war, after the Gaza war gets over, they want still that friendship to continue that is unitedly with Russia and China, okay, not like only with Russia or only with China. They want everybody to exclude the USA from the arrangement and they should continue their uh, friendship. The Gulf countries should continue the friendship more with Russia and China and that is what they are doing. So, unconditional support to Israel already USA has done and already USA is uh, excluded itself as a credible player, okay, because when they give full support to Israel, USA, uh, the these people, Saudi and US, UAE is not liking it. So, already UA, USA is losing and Russia and China is trying to make it more uh, problematic. Okay. Now, above all, as I told, elections, re-elections are coming up. So, Russia would have ensured that all your thing, everything will be, everything deal we sign will uh, stay for the next 10 years also. So, advance notice even to give it and the uh, China-Russia alliance will challenge the US hegemony and seek to redefine the regional political order, meaning there will be no single power, it will be a multi-world order and that they will assure, China, Russia will assure. This is the overall Putin's agenda of flying to the Gulf country. Okay. Now, the last article, the Orisa model for agriculture. Okay. So, Orisa model, if you see, uh, these are the, like state awards, 2016 best agriculture state, 2022 agriculture leadership award, then in, this is the world food program, United Nations program, there he is going and presenting the Orisa model because they already have partnered and they are doing lot of things. So, how did this all happen? 
COP28, the Conference of Parties 28 of the UNFCC. Okay, UNFCC is a thing which happens every year, uh, close to November, December time it happens. Now in Dubai, it is happening this year. Okay, so there, everyone are discussing about the worsening climate crisis because of that nutrition is affecting, because of that hunger problems are there, malnutrition is there, disasters are happening, food productivity is declining. This stats and all you can use. Okay, so you can use in your exam. The disaster is going to be 1.5 per day. Then uh, malnutrition is growing by 20%. Food productivity is declining by 21%. This data you can exactly use because it's UN data. So the world is witnessing a worsening <coughs> A global food crisis. Okay. So, but meanwhile, Orissa is transforming. Orissa's transformal journey is increasingly being cited as a model which everybody should follow. So, how the state strengthened this food security? It's through community driven program, meaning they involved everyone. They involved right from the United Nations till the uh, Orissa's village level uh, leaders and the panchayat level or the district level. Everybody were involved and it's a very, very big project they have been doing with multiple schemes. Okay. So, in the past two decades or 20 years, Orissa has moved from where? Moved from a state which was importing rice okay to the state who is having surplus production now high production on record okay so majority of their farmers are small or marginal farmers and the area of in production they did not increase it's the same stable crop area only but in the same area the productivity increased that means they have done something right so the average rice yield which is orissa's main crop also tripled in the last two decades 2001 it was 10.4 quintal per hectare 2020-21 it is 27.3 okay from 10 it reached close to 30 that's why it's tripled okay and kalahandi district which used to be called as the land of hunger now it is like orissa's rice bowl that much rice they are producing so the chief minister of uh, orissa has already shared this at the united nations world food program i showed you the photograph already and then addressed uh, orissa's this commitment you know this sustainable development goal i always tell you in your main senses always refer to sustainable development goal okay like goal number one is uh, uh, poverty goal number two is uh, hunger then after that it is health after that education uh, goal number four so this 17 goals you should know by heart so the second goal hunger zero hunger that we are uh, trying to achieve and orissa is committed to that okay and we are focusing mainly on the small and marginal farmers and not on the uh, larger farmers so because they can directly contribute to strengthening the food security and also their livelihood also will improve so for that they have a scheme Krishak assistance for livelihood and income augmentation that is Kalia scheme. Okay, so here they are using scientific crop management practice, conventional and digital tools they are doing, increasing the non paddy that is a non rice crop also, and uh, the Orisa millet mission is also there where the millets production they are trying to improve, which overall India is also trying to improve. So, everything they are trying to do it right so that the climate problems, okay, because you know Orisa has a geographical location where the conditions are such that cyclones happen or maybe drought condition happen and everything extreme happens there still even after their vulnerabilities they are trying to disrupt all this they are trying to still fight with the poverty okay because life livelihood assets infrastructure everything can go down but they are working so hard that it should all be uh, compensated or it should not happen or we should do something preventive so proactively they have designed their own climate change action plan also to address this in across sectors whether it's agriculture the coastal zone energy fisheries animal uh, health mining any any kind of sector you take they are they are implementing a very effective climate uh, action plan okay so it is formulated by team of experts that's why they told it's a community driven program lot of experts from multiple departments and even from civil society people are there and all these departments are working together identifying the plan and the complete thing is monitored by a committee which is headed by the chief secretary also okay like we have cabinet secretary in the center chief secretary is the highest uh, civil servant in the state level okay so he is going to monitor everything so they have involved everyone every department and that is why they are able to do that they also have a crop weather watch group which will conduct meetings and field visit and also video conferences everything will be monitored and that's why they are correcting their problems as i told one district which was a, a kind of land of hunger has become the rice bowl now so that itself shows their commitment and their uh, improvement okay so district level officials are there and then they are adopting climate resilient practices these are all general point okay integrated farming zero input based natural farming non paddy crop better water management water saving device uh, pest surveillance large scale farm mechanization woman friendly uh, drudgery reducing farm implants so anything which is needed for agriculture which you know every term you can write because they have practiced or uh, tried out everything okay training has been given in every new new technique integrating the pest management boosting the production overall they have done everything right to make the agriculture good 
and also the social protection also. So the consistent improvement of the agriculture sector has made Orissa a surplus state for paddy production or the rice production. And it is the fourth most significant contributor of paddy to the FCI now. You know, Food Corporation of India, they will uh, gather all the these things, uh, rice and things from the different different states. So Orissa has become the fourth biggest contributor now in 2020-21. Okay, Orissa is producing 9% of the total rice in India and accounts for 4.2% of the total food grain production of the country. Okay, and I told you they have the partnership with this UN food program and there through them they are doing lot of schemes. Through the uh, UN World Food Program, their funding and their support, they have done biometric technology in this uh, uh, PDS uh, ration shops and all these things and then that is in this district, okay, Raigada district and then rice fortification they have done that is adding nutrients to the rice and all that they have done in Gajapati district. So, these are all our examples which is the partnership uh, uh, model. Okay. In the state ranking also, National Food Security Act by the Department of Food and Public Affair uh, 2022, I showed you the award, they got the top ranking state award. Okay. And this transformative journey from food grain scarcity to surplus, sustained effort in climate proofing, crop diversification, protection of interest of the small farmers and giving them food security and everything, it is a very big example and the in country can learn from Orissa. Okay. So, that is what is the complete article and I have tried to do it in detail and show you every points and hopefully you can write a good answer for this. Okay. So, now if you are enrolled to PAC 4 and PAC 5, immediately message me in this number telling like claiming goodies or I am enrolled to PAC 4, I am enrolled to PAC 5. So, we will uh, get your details and start uh, processing uh, the goodies so that you, it will reach your uh, home address. Okay. So, current affairs, test series, all these things if you want, you come and contact me and tell me in comment section whether any, any more things have to be started. Already we have hundreds of lectures or thousands of lectures you can tell for completely free. Check out our channel, first get an, get the foundation from me, then you will understand how to make use of the uh, channel. Okay, Instagram also we are posting a lot of things, follow us there and mainly for quick replies, come and message me in WhatsApp. Okay, so I will wind up this. Thank you and have a nice day.